Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and today we're going to do Lisa in Raspberry Ice from Godiva Secret Wigs. Now I've just reviewed the Freedom wig and I really loved it when it was on and I was getting used to it and I thought you know what I'm going to do Lisa because I'm super excited to face the challenge of what this wig is going to do for me. This is a very short style, it's a very punky style, very rock chick look and you know it's going to be a hard one for me to pull off so i'm excited to try it to show you how versatile their wigs are and how you can customize them to suit you now when you get a wig and you first put it on your head it's very overwhelming if you don't like it straight away you might think hmm, does it suit me you know is it really gonna be okay for me to wear this wig how can i make this wig right for me so you really have to own the wig and you know really sit with it and think okay this isn't normally how my hair would be but that doesn't mean the wig isn't for me it just means i need to sit with it and you know recognize it on myself and get to know it a little bit so you may feel a little bit uncomfortable when you put on a wig that you're not used to especially if you're used to having long hair and then you put a really short wig on or you've got really short hair and then you put a long wig on or used to being blonde and you put red on or a brunette or you you know used to having dark and then you go blonde it can be a big shock to the system so instead of pulling it off and throwing it in the cupboard or sending it back sit with it Rochelle says from Godiva Secret Wigs get a glass of wine and get to know the wig but you know sit there and just have a look at yourself and see okay how can I make this wig work for me and that's what we're going to do with Lisa so before I grab her out the packies I'm going to prep my hair so you know, this is my own hair right now. I've, I've always had really long hair, but, you know, I've had it cut lately because I'm going through perimenopause and having hot flashes and we've just had really hot weather and, you know, I just want to kind of grow out all of the colour and grow my natural roots through. You know, I am no longer now colouring my hair, so I'm just letting it do what it wants to do. But we're wearing wigs for fun and to feel good. That's what they're all about. So I'm going to grab my little ponytail and I've got a little bobble. So I'm just going to put it in three, one, two. And on the third one, I'm just going to make a tiny little bun just to anchor the back of the wig, just like that. It's a tiny little bun, but it'll hold it in place. Now in Lisa, I've already sewn in wig clips. So, you know, you could wear this wig, any of their wigs with a wig grip band that they sell and I've done a review on those wig grip bands in the playlist they're very great they do what they say they're going to do they hold the wig on you could wear a wig cap you could wear nothing at all but if you want security that feels really natural can fully recommend sewing clips in this is yeah it says raspberry eyes. so I was thinking is it raspberry eyes? yes it is so it's the same color that I've just reviewed freedom in and again, I love the reds. I'm all about the reds and I really love this raspberry eye. So before I put it on, let's look at Lisa. So very light wig, very, very light wig. Again, you don't know you've got it on, it's that light. They're so breathable and airy, they're just beautiful, whether they are a long or a short wig. So at the back of the wig, you've got all these wefts. So very, very natural, airy, light on your head, feels very breathable. You've got the label at the back, and you've got the little bra strap adjusters to make it looser or tighter depending on how you feel and it is a machine teased wig i think it is anyway so but it'll tell you on their website so it feels like it says yeah it says it's got height so because you can punk it up and it's just very well made on the cap and then i've sewn two wig clips into the front again i've done a really good job on these not how i used to do them so i've eternally sit inside out look at the style so you might think, oh, she looks a bit like Freedom, and she does, but she's shorter and punkier, and that's what I'm a little bit <gasps> about. So, you know, you'll know, you'll recognise this wig if you've been watching me for a while, because I did an unboxing video, and this was the wig in there, and I put it on my head, and I was just a bit like, whoa, what do I do with that then? Took it off, put Faye on, and I was like, yay with Faye because I'm used to those kind of curly, long styles. But, you know, wearing a short, punky look is something I want to do so I can be someone different and try something new. But I do feel it's going to be a bit overwhelming. And that's why I want to do it with you as well. So 
what I've got for Lisa, I've got some water down here just in case because, you know, Rochelle on Godiva Secret Wigs video says pump it up, use water. So I'm going to see what I can do with Lisa to get her right. So I'm going to get her as if I'm going to go out in it, okay? Just like I did with Freedom, wearing that around the house a little bit. A bit later today, I thought, yeah, I'm going to try on Lisa. So let's put her on. Look at the colour first of all. This colour is Raspberry Eyes. It's a gorgeous red with you know, kind of these raspberry highlights, you've got a bit of caramel going through there, it's very beautiful, so look at the back, look at the movement, and then look at the front, so very, very punky style, so it is like freedom, but I feel it's a shorter version, could be wrong, but that's how it feels to me, so let's put her on, are you ready for this, you may feel as uncomfortable as me when I put this wig on, but I guarantee you you're going to get used to the wig like me, so let's not freak out when we put Lisa on, so we're going to put her on, look how short and punky she is. I'm just going to grab the two ear tabs and pop them flat. And then I'm going to lift her up to my hairline. Now, before I do anything, I'm just going to check I've got it in the right place and I have. So I don't want it too high. So I'm going to clip in my wig clips. So the wig's on right, look at that. Isn't it a big wig? See what I mean? So it's like freedom, but a huge version of it. Now, if I start around the back, and I know you're supposed to start around the front, but... If I just start around the back here, I love the back of this wig. Just like I love the back of the Freedom wig. I love how it feels in the nape of the neck. Okay, look at that. I just love how it gives you that tapered, tailored look. It's just really pretty. So let's start by using the fingers. Now, I won't need to cut the bang on this because it's got a short bang, which is good. So I don't need to do anything to this wig apart from get it how I would wear it. So, now she is meant to be a punky style. So it is going to be a bit big. And I'm just a bit like, wow, that's a huge, huge style. But it's punky. And it's how it's supposed to be. So let's get some water on it and see what happens. So I'm just going to make sure I'm squirting it. I'm going to squirt some water on. Here we go. And let's see what that does. That makes it more peasy, don't you think? A little bit of water. I haven't sprayed much water on at all, but it's settling the whole thing down. Look at this. I really do like it, you know, because it's like a shorter version of freedom and it's something totally different. It's something totally different. I would, you know, not ever have my hair cut like this. Not now anyway, maybe in the future when I'm older. But... I just love the fact that I can wear a short style and only so once again I'm a bit surprised I've done it so quick because you know looking at it in the camera yeah looking at it in the mirror I would go out like this so again it's that initial when you first put it on your head and it's totally different than your own hair and you think can I get away with this is this something I can do you know, is it something I'd be able to do? So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of water on my hands and just do that. Mess around with the fringe a little bit. Put some water through it. Look at this. I'm going to show you the back in a second. Punk it up. And, you know, I can flatten it down a little bit if that's what I want to do. Because I do like it a little bit flatter. But just a little bit of water's done the job done the job I know I keep looking in the mirror but you know I'm just not used to having a style like this at all and I love this again this wispy fringe again I found that you know I mean I haven't cut this bang as you know this bang this is how the wig comes but again it's kind of flipping up a little bit so I may need to just get a little bit of heat well, I'll say heat it's not heat don't put heat on these wigs they're not heat resistant but get my hair dry and blast it with a cold air just to maybe make the fringe go under a little bit but a little bit of water it's on the job so i am seeing this as a shorter version of freedom and if i'm honest looking at it right now i think i prefer this than free and on freedom because it's shorter style so let's have a look at, together i'm going to do a turn in a second for you and i'll do a little short to music in this as well so look at that i mean it's just a whole new look on me a whole new look. If I show you the top, 
And I just adore this raspberry ice colour. Again, I feel that this is definitely one I'm going to have to get, have to get in other colours. But look at the punky style. <coughs> you know, <coughs> some water just went in my throat there. Look at the punky style. That's what I like. You know, that's what I like that's different. So if I show you from the side, remember this wig is called Lisa. Like a shorter version of the Freedom wig. Look at the gorgeous colours coming through it as well. And then the back. And this, you can see the razor, it's like razor cut flicks coming out to create that style. Isn't it cool? Very rock chick vibe. I really do like it. So I'm surprised how much I like these shorter funky styles. Because when I first got this one, it was a real shock. But I think that now as well, I'm getting so used to wearing different styles on my head. Nothing's really freaking me out. You know, because I've tried, you've seen some of the ones I'm wearing on Amazon, from Amazon, especially some of the, you know, the wigs I was wearing over the Halloween period. So, you know, if I can wear Medusa, and it's quite funny as well, because, you know, when I tried my Medusa wig on, if you want to know what I'm talking about, it's in the playlist. It's a little wig that I got from you know, um, Joker's Masquerade to see what it would be like for Halloween. And when I was wearing that wig, you know, because I record in the front, this is my my office and it's in the front of the house and I've got neighbours across the road. When I was messing around with that wig and I turned the camera off, I looked up and both of my neighbours outside across the road, two guys, older guys, were just like this looking in the house because I bet they thought what is that crazy woman doing you know every time they see me I've got a different wig on you know one day I'm blonde one day I'm brown then I've got short long and you know now I'm wearing this punky red one so you know it's all exciting but I think it's such great fun I don't care what anybody thinks so I do like this wig and you know same as when I was wearing freedom I was thinking hmm, I've got some events coming up where could I wear this wig you know, I could see me even going to like a rock concert or something in this wig. But this is also a wig that you could very well wear for the day because, you know, it's light, it's airy, it's very good for like, you know, the hot weather, hot flashes. You could do your normal day-to-day -day routine in this wig. You're not getting hair around you when you're doing the dishes or, you know, you're doing your tidying or you're hoovering up. You know, sometimes if you're doing those types of jobs, and you've got hair around you, especially, you know, you've got a wig on, you just want to whip it off, you know, if you're having hot flashes, if you're going through perimenopause like me, but, you know, with this wig on, you could do anything in this wig, absolutely anything, I love how secure it is, I've only put two wig clips in, and she's totally secure, so, amazing, not quite sure again what my boyfriend would think of this one, because he prefers me with longer hair, but, you know, I don't care. He has to get used to me being somebody else every now and again. And today, I'm Lisa. And I'm really liking it. So, yeah, really nice, funky style that I wouldn't normally wear. But I feel it's so me. I really like it. So let me know what you think of this wig in the comment section. Have a great day. I hope this review helps. And I'll see you soon.